Hi guys, Anna with A Stone Tarot Magic. And so I'm going to briefly go back into the topic of toxic slash narcissistic people and discuss a little bit about what happens um, after discard and when there's a reconnection, um, even briefly, with the narcissist or the toxic person or the borderline or the antisocial personality disorder, okay? So you likely have no idea what happened to your relationship if you've been discarded and all that um, because they don't even know either because they move the goalposts constantly so there's no way you could ever keep up with their ridiculous demands and like things that they're outraged about okay because they're always outraged right like all the drama in your relationship mo most of it I guarantee is one-sided and it's all on them they're like constantly the one having a problem constantly the one picking fights constantly having some you know big to do about like how you had a bad tone with them or whatever like something you said pissed them off they're always offended it's like perpetual victim okay and you know these people you can never keep up so you know but you know that it's all your fault right <laughs> of course it's all your fault they gave you everything don't you know they gave you everything and you were terrible and you you know you just didn't love them the way they needed to be loved and you know and they had no part in it. They were they did everything. They were perfect. And you were just trash. Right. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, that hurts when we hear that because we know that that's not true. But then we start questioning it. Okay. So, when we get discarded, there's like this weird phenomenon that happens where it's like we're sad. And then our brain just decides to filter out all of the pertinent informa information about this person. About how, like how terrible they are how like scandalous they are, how abusive they are, all that stuff. Um, and it only focuses on the fake version of the person that we fell in love with. And these feelings of like, oh, I mean, like maybe I could have handled it different. Maybe I could, should have not complained about that one thing, etc. Right. And we start to just totally like gloss over all of the bad things that that person did and focus only on like the good parts. And we think, oh my gosh, I, I just, I miss them, right? Well, you know, um, when you do, if you do ever speak to them again, um, here's a couple of things to be prepared for, okay? First of all, it, again, it's going to be all your fault. Um, and they're going to tell you that everything that they did to you was you doing it to them, like literally. And they're going to say it like they actually believe it because they might actually believe that. Um, and then they're going to gaslight you, again, of course, more so, about, you know, how they didn't, they only, they won't take accountability for anything. So anything that you try to come at them with, with facts, it doesn't matter. Like, they don't, they don't deal in facts or rational, rational thinking. No, that's not a narcissist move. Okay. They're going to tell you that, you know, you cheated on them or whatever. Or here's the thing, if you've already started dating again, right? It doesn't matter how many months it's been. It could be five months, okay? Or, you know, a year. It doesn't matter. And if you started dating again, when they find out, they're going to be like, you're a hoe. You're, you're you know, whatever. I, I, like, why would you, like, how could you, you, you're such a slut. Really? But, I mean, that's what happens when people get dumped, right? Like, when you break up, uh, you can date other people. So, yeah, but you're going to get shit for it. And then they're going to you know, be upset and tell you horrible things about yourself because they wanted you to actually sit there and not date just in the off chance that they wanted to come back. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't work like that for me. So anyways, be prepared for them to talk shit about you dating, for them to tell you it's all your fault, and then for them to again engage in the same shit that you got, that you were so frustrated with when you were together right you know it's almost like for me it was beneficial like for me because I knew going in what to expect because I mean I'm getting my doctorate in psychology I do know about this stuff despite the fact that I fell for it again but like you know I do know um like what the signs are and what the tactics are right um but like the funny part is is when if you've told them that they're narcissistic they're I guarantee you that they are going to be have, doing some research on narcissism um online but Rest assured, they are not going to have anywhere near the amount of depth of information that you have as being a victim of it.
trust me on this because they have they they're not capable of self-reflection so yeah okay so um you know more so they're gonna act like you're stupid they're gonna call you names say you're low iq or whatever um any insults you get i'm telling you right now you need to understand one thing and this is the universal truth any insults that they send to you that you know are not true accurate for you all those are are a reflection of literally how they feel about themselves like literally so if they call you stupid or low iq or a loser or whatever that's them literally saying that about themselves it's projection okay and at the end of the day if you do talk to them i'm 99 percent sure that you'll be like oh my god this was so exhausting they're so fucking annoying like they're annoying after you've been away for a while, it's like you're not invested anymore like you used to be. And it's like, ugh, God, like this, I put up with this shit. Oh, my God. Right? It's, it's, ugh. So this happened to me recently and I was just sitting there like listening going, oh, my God. Like, man, I'm so glad to be out of this shit. Um, like everything was drama constantly. Like, and the reason for that, you guys, and we can't lose sight of this too, because while I bitch about it and vent about it, um, the reality is that these people are highly damaged people. They are traumatized in childhood and they didn't have anybody to help them process that trauma. And they, for whatever reason, have not been strong enough or resilient enough in adulthood to seek out help. And, um, most likely they've been enabled by narcissistic parents or something like that too. Um, so at the end of the day, these are damaged people from trauma so you know it's not like they're just born evil it's like something happened to them however they may you know they seem evil for sure but they're not um but I would say you know you can have sympathy for them and you should but you can do that from a distance you do not have to be in their life and um I suggest you you don't be in their life because it's just it's hell and like who wants to live like that can you imagine just your whole life existence is just waiting for someone to offend you like and finding little things to be offended about constantly and like outraged about and I mean it's constant drama like I don't know about you guys but like ugh, at my age I'm gonna be 45 I have no time for this anymore and I just I I'm telling you that they don't change um, and if they do it's an anomaly an outlier okay so be prepared you're the bad guy you will always be the bad guy um, remember how they talked about their ex when you met them you're that ex now you know and um, you know and expect them to do crazy things like you know accuse you of stalking them accuse you of doing stuff that you're like not doing literally you're not doing any of it and like you just moved on like you know like you were forced to do and then they they still think that you are obsessed with them even when you literally aren't and that's because they have such a fragile ego like the idea that you actually don't care anymore is crushing you know so just have power in that and care about them from a distance don't let them get involved in your life anymore they are literally psychic toxic vampires that will drain you like they're not able to be successful on their own so they have to latch, latch on to somebody else that's successful it's the reason that they picked you is because you're a successful person you you have the traits that they wish they had um you know and be ready to hear a whole bunch of insults and just let them slide off your back guys they don't i mean it's they're talking about themselves literally it's sad um you know we can wish them the best and hope they get some help at some point but like it's not likely so you know best to just cut your losses like I did thank god you know I'm much happier now definitely I have somebody that's nice and sweet and doesn't treat me like trash so that's nice and you guys can do the same trust me on that I didn't think it was possible but it is all right bless you guys